Hello all. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. Modeling, texturing and lighting a 3D stall in Autodesk 3ds Max. So let's get started. So we are starting with starting up with one uh, new stall model. So let's get started. So go into rendering, view image file. Let's go into the stall and let's take this reference. So as you can see, we are going to uh, model such kind of stalls. So if you have such kind of designs, how you are going to model it. So very first of all, uh, let's take a plane over here. Let's take a plane. And now let's go to the top view. Let's go to the top view and let's take a line over here. So very first of all what we'll be doing over here is like uh, we'll be just scaling it up. Let's take a line. After taking this line what we are going to do over here is like I'm going to uh, create a line over here right from this end from here till here till here. So once you have created this line, let's go into this, let's go into the vertices. So very first of all, uh, I'll just push this more further to make it look more bigger, look it more bigger over here. Select this line, go into this. And we have a option over here that's your fillet option so let's use a fillet over here so after you are utilizing a fillet over here so again select this and you can just push it in more in front like this till here that's much better after you had utilized this stuff, let's go over here. We can still push this back if you want. Let's go into the perspective view over here and let's push this up over here. Let's go into this rendering, enable in viewport, and make it as more of a thick rectangular like this so for now I don't require the whole stuff over here so what I'll be doing over here is like I am not going to do this stuff I'll reduce this enable in viewport I'll reduce this I'll keep it over here as it is And if you want to go for it, you can increase this. Just increase it a bit over here. Right click, convert to editable poly. After you are done with this uh, editable poly stuff over here. So now what you can do is like, you can insert some loops over here. So it's like you can just ring it and connect the loops. So let's connect this loops over here. So push it on to the top over here. So again select this and push it up over here. Again, connect it, push it down, that's it. So, after this step you are done over here, it's very important, like, uh, let's go into the polygons. So, let's go into this polygon over here. 
select all of this select all this polygons over here and use a bridge so once you bridge it as you can see you get this stuff over here so we'll keep it a gap over here like this let's go over here select this stuff over here and use a bit of uh, inset and you can just extrude it a bit inside and click OK that's it so after you are done with this uh, step over here so what would be the next step is like as you can see over here uh, we are going to add let's save this file first after that use a swift loop over here make it much better way so if you want to push this uh, you can just extrude it uh, more inside like this so after you have extruded uh, this area over here so let's go into the top view and if you want something to be coming out from here so let's uh, extrude it down just extrude this uh, element down so if you don't want to extrude the whole as an element so what I am going to do is I am just uh, adding two more loops over here at the right place so let's go on to this press R and scale it we have two more references so if you need to use those references we'll come to that references also we'll take that references also so now let's go on to this poly and only this much area is required I just want to extrude from this much area so I'll just keep this area as it is uh, for now I'll select this after you're done with this uh, you also have some kind of a framing over here so we can use a frame also so you can use a frame if you want so let's uh, use one swift loop over here and one swift loop over here so once you're done with it so let's go on to this and just uh, extrude this down at the bottom much better way so select all of this three and let's uh, give one connect and let's push this down till here let's click over here and here and say bridge select this and this and give it as a bridge so you want this to be a single part so let's uh, extrude this down so one more extrusion so go on extruding it so once you have 
extruded it say like this and just extrude it in this way and click ok better so just save your file so we have uh, just created this stuff for now now what I'm going to do here is like uh, if you still want to push this out you can just push this out not a problem uh, let's go on to this uh, view over here let's take a line over here and let's draw a line and make it as a radial so push this line over here Make sure you are placing it correctly. All right. So let's go into this and just increase its thickness. So go into the vertices, push it up. and you can just mirror it first you can copy it push it down like this and you can go into this make a copy of it and just go on rotating it a bit randomly so I'm just rotating it very randomly so so go on rotating it very randomly now go over here copy it and push this over here. That's it. All right. So save the file. All right. So now, if you see over here, uh, we have only this much part of it. The rest we don't need this till here. So what we are going to do over here is like uh, we are going to uh, eliminate this. Uh, area which we have uh, you know created it so if you want to chamfer it you can just chamfer this area so if you want to chamfer it you can chamfer this stuff but uh, it's difficult to chamfer so no worries what we'll be doing is we'll just delete this much of the area from this part so how you can just select the polygons so select this polygons and let's delete it better so once you delete uh, this area we can just remove that stuff so you get border and if you try to cap it it's not going to cap it uh, definitely not in a proper way so the best way is you can just uh, bridge this area so just select and go on bridging it so that would be the best possible way you can do it so you can just uh, bridge it so save your file so definitely it's going to take time to you know model this stuff so we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial thanks for watching this tutorial